Hello once again YouTube and welcome back to The Domain. Round two of the Halo Mega fan vote has officially begun and over this weekend we're voting on a new coating to go on this beautiful mongoose included in this beautiful set. And there is so much to vote on including four rounds. The first round was voting on the coating for the Warthog, second on a mongoose, third on the armor coatings for the Spartans, and then a secret round four. And when I was doing the research on this video, I found something that's kind of crazy. So stick with me. I'll explain it as best I can. So as always, the domain is your number one source for this information. I've got all of it to break down today. I'll start by recapping the previous round. The Warthog voting was pretty intense. I saw a lot of people backing a lot of different corners. I think the two most popular votes were the Action Block and Neon Superfly. I voted for Neon Superfly. I know it wasn't the most complex of the coatings, but I love it in game. It just looks so dope. I love that sort of futuristic neon aesthetic and it won, I think probably by a landslide. Just by seeing the general discourse online, I think it was the most popular one. And we've been discussing this on all my social medias, on my Twitter and Instagram motion domain, on our Facebook group, the Mega Constructs domain, and in our Discord link in the description down below. And remember, the most important thing about this fan vote is that this ships exclusively on Mattel Creations. That means it's direct to consumer and it's worldwide shipping, which is directly targeting the issue of distribution. So hats off to Mega for that one. It's been a really first competition and something that's brought us all together as always. And I want to start with uh, just highlighting a little point here. I've seen a few people online say, oh, I don't want a Halo Infinite set, so I'm going to boycott this vote. What are you talking about, man? Like, <laughs> to be, to me, that is a really bad take. That is a really bad idea. Mega is opening the floodgates and allowing us to customize sets. Whether or not you want these coatings, whether or not you like this set, you need to vote. You need to show Mega some support right now. And if they see the support coming in for all these fan votes, I mean, they've clearly been upping the game, right? The first fan vote was for a single figure. The second for a set, and the third for customizing all the parts of the set round by round. This needs good exposure, this needs good voting numbers. So whether or not you like these coatings, whether or not you like this set, just go and vote. It takes like literally 10 seconds, and it shows Mega that we're interested, and maybe in the future we get to a point where we're helping design many different sets per year. So I think it's very important that regardless how you feel about this vote, you go and vote. I for one think it's a dope idea, voting on just simple things like like armor coatings and vehicle coatings. It doesn't leave many people disappointed. It's like very simple. And if you didn't get what you wanted, try not to complain about it online. Like this is a democracy. <laughs> like if you just go on Instagram and the top comment is saying, I can't believe this coating won, outrageous. The coating won because the most people voted for it. I mean, <laughs> I don't think you should complain if you didn't get what you wanted. That's just my take. That's just my honest opinion. The rest of the voting will take place this month. Then next month, you'll be able to pre-order it and then it'll ship next year. So Neon Superfly was our winner of the Warthog coating, and I asked you guys to comment down below saying what kind of mongoose coating you'd want. I think one of the popular ones was Banished Deception. It's not in this fan vote, but one of them that I kind of called out last time is in this vote. Roll the clip. So let me know down below what kind of mongoose coating you would like to see as well. There's that ridiculous UK exclusive game one that just looks so hideous. <laughs> and I would kind of respect if that was the one they went for. The Pop Dolly mongoose coating <laughs> in all of its goofy outlandish glory. This thing is ridiculous. It first came out in 2021 in December, just as Halo Infinite had launched. And it was an exclusive with Game. Game in England is like your GameStop in America. Game had a promotion where if you bought any Halo item, you could get a code to redeem this pop dolly. <laughs> this thing is so dumb. Like, it's so ridiculous. I could kind of see, I mean, I called it out in the last video, I could kind of see people voting for it just because it's so stupid. It is also the most technical of any of them for Mega to produce, so I would like to see, you know, them step up to the challenge. It's got so many details and so many printed decals. It would be kind of crazy to see this actually produced. But the funny thing is we also have a goofy coating coming this year with the Mongo Outriders. That one is also really weird, so it'd be kind of strange to get two weird coatings, but I'm getting ahead of myself. The voting choices for this weekend are Pop Dolly, Wheat Cedar, Noble Principle, and Gen 12. So we'll start with Pop Dolly. Ridiculous. Again, it was only accessible by purchasing something in the UK, which obviously Halo Infinite fans on Reddit and Twitter were like, how dare they have a UK exclusive? They don't care about American fans. It's, 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 sometimes in life, things are exclusive to different countries. I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I'm, <laughs> I've, I don't know why today I've just not got as much patience for, for general complaining online. I don't know. So Pop Dolly is uh, an interesting choice. Uh, the other three are quite basic. I mean, anything is basic in comparison. I guess the Wheat Cedar is quite interesting, but the Pop Dolly just stands out ludicrously even down to the tires it is a bizarre choice but i think i kind of respect it and i'll say at the end of this video which one i'm gonna vote for and you can kind of figure that out i don't want to sway votes too much pop dolly is the first one and then wheat cedar now wheat cedar was available in the in-game store august 9th and june 28th 2022 it cost only 200 credits but was only the coatings for the mongooses and the warthog families it's pretty good um it's it's like a nice sort of basic military I think, like, the Wheat Cedar and the Noble Principle are the only two that you could, le like, legitimately see being in, you know, a military setting. I know a lot of people, particularly some of my friends like Jonathan, only really like buying Halo that is, like, in-game lore accurate. So maybe they would want the Wheat Cedar or the Noble Principle. It's just a nice basic coating. It's got some cool details. The Noble Principle is basically just blue. And there's nothing wrong with that. A lot of the mongooses we've got in the past have actually been very basic colors. Most of them are just urban, desert, arctic basic green, so it would be interesting to see something, you know, a little more out of Mega's comfort zone. Noble Principle, it's just basic blue. December 28th and November 15th, 2021, it cost 1,500 credits. Yikes. And it's actually listed on a couple of videos and websites as one of the rarest coatings in the game because it was released so early, like right as Infinite came out. It came with the color blue <laughs> for the armor coating, <laughs> which, I mean, it is just the color blue. And then emblems and nameplates. But the nice thing is when you compare that, it's 1,500 credits for that Noble Principle pack. And then about eight months later, that Wheat Cedar is reduced down to 200 credits. So you can see how 343 really did list and when reducing prices in store. No one ever wanted to pay for emblems. It's like a billion in the game anyway. But the fourth coating for the Mongoose is the one that I've been doing a deep dive on and I'm very confused about. It's the Gen 12 armor coating. Armor coating, no, mongoose coating, dang. Gen 12 mongoose coating is really bizarre. It doesn't really exist. I've not been able to find it anywhere. And I've been like contacting different Delta index and leakers on Twitter and I can't drum up any information. If you go on HaloInfiniteNews.com, which is a new website I've just discovered, it's actually really good. It shows the different shops and like the dates that the different items were released and the different weekly ultimates. And it's actually a great, uh, you know, index of everything. So I would highly recommend you just going and browsing there for fun. But the Gen 12, when you type it in, it only shows three coatings and the mongoose is not there. And when you click on those three coatings, it says that they were released in season one, but it doesn't actually have any release dates, indicating that it was in the coding for season one, but never got released. But there's no mongoose coating anyway. I've searched the internet. I've, I've scrubbed it. But this gen 12 just doesn't really exist, which kind of makes me a little more curious and kind of makes me want to vote for it. <laughs> but I'd love to know like where Mega got the information. I mean, obviously straight from 343, like the images they're using on their website are official renders. So they clearly have this Intel. And maybe it's like a deep dive. Maybe it's because they know something we don't know. It could be because Gen 12 is slated to release in season three and we've just got a sneak peek into season three because think about it, this set is not shipping until 2024. So Mega would probably want to put some eggs in a basket saying, hey, let's try and get fans to vote for something that isn't even out yet. And then eventually when it comes out, it'll be more relevant when we're selling it. I mean, even though the pre-orders finish next month and then I don't think you'll be able to order it again. But anyway, uh, you get my point. It's weird that this Gen 12 like legitimately doesn't exist when I'm searching online. <laughs> so, uh, update time. Halo leaks actually responded to me. What a go. They haven't been released, but have been listed in the API since season one, unknown when these will release. That's fascinating. And even more interesting, Nitalev responded to me with uh, a post from Halo leaks back in November of 2022, saying unreleased Halo Infinite vehicle coatings, Gen 12, but it only has the Razorback, Warthog, and Rocket Hog. So there's no evidence of this Mongoose online, and it might be coming to Mega before it even gets any information on when it's released, or even a render online. That's really fascinating. So, ladies and gentlemen, after careful consideration, we have the Pop Dolly, Wheat Cedar, Noble Principle, and Gen 12. And my vote 
is for Gen 12. I just think it's such an anomaly. It's it's a little secret Easter egg. There's literally no render online. Like even Halo Leaks doesn't have one. But Mega does. So I, I'm I'm very intrigued by that. I also love uh, sort of royal gold. I think it'll look great. The pop dolly, I'm tempted because it's so goofy, but I think my vote is gonna be with Gen 12. Let me know in the comments down below which one you would vote for. If I was to predict the final lineup, I think it would go Gen 12, pop dolly, noble principal, wheat cedar. The Halo Mega Fan Vote 2023 will have four rounds with the fourth round being a secret round. I wonder what that could be. I'd love to hear some speculation on that as well. And the final winners will will be concluded with pre-orders going up next month and it'll ship exclusively on Mattel Creations in 2024. And that will be worldwide distribution, baby. Thank you so much for the support and do let me know which one you chose and what you think of these choices. And as always, you stay awesome. You stay so, so uber, uber, duber safe. <laughs> uber, duber safe. Shout out to my new YouTube channel, Simon Says. And as always, stick it with the domain for all your Halo news.